Good morning, guys. Good morning. I just have a little nugget I want to drop. I was thinking about how a lot of times when we uh, reach a point where we get something or we accomplish a good, a big goal or we graduate and we get our degrees or, you know, we become a uh, bishop or whatever, whatever that thing is that you have became and, you know, God have honored it and, and it was an accomplishment for you. I was thinking about how a lot of times we want to bring everybody along with us to celebrate. <laughs> Let me tell you what I've learned along the years. Sometimes it's best to just celebrate yourself. You know, you want to bring family, you want to bring friends. I'm not saying everybody is not excited or happy for you. But I'm going to say over 50% of the time, some people only come in to speculate, speculate. Some people only come in to be nosy. Some people only come in to show the fact that they are jealous or they don't like what you have accomplished. So let me tell you something. Over the last, I said maybe two years, I've learned to celebrate myself. Amen. I don't care if you come to my, my ministry. I don't care if you come to my counseling office. I don't care if you come to my house. Um, I mean, I can celebrate Christmas by myself, Thanksgiving by myself, Easter by myself. I mean, well, you got to learn to celebrate with yourself and celebrate yourself. It's time out for inviting the enemy to your celebration.